Hi, I'm Marty Kurtz. I'm president of the Financial Planning Association for the year 2011. And I want to talk about FPA and how we're governed by our core beliefs. Now, one of the core beliefs that we've written out is our primary aim. Just amended in the last year, our primary aim says FPA is the community that fosters the value of financial planning and advances the practice and the profession of financial planning. I think it's a great direction. We have a destiny, cause, and calling. Our destiny being helping create a world where everyone thrives and prospers. Our cause, an inspired community, transforming lives through inclusiveness, innovation, and collaboration. And our calling to champion the heart of financial planning by leading people to grow, to act, and to live their dreams. Very powerful mission. And we have our core values and our business objectives. But we also have our core competencies, which are leadership and advocacy and community and knowledge, which lead us to our FPA standard of care. That standard that reflects our desire to get in a vehicle and drive from the beginnings of a relationship up to a battle for our virtues that says, this is the way we believe we should be acting in front of and with a client. Our standard of care says all financial planning services will be delivered in accordance with this standard of care, which is to put the client's best interests first, to act with due care and the utmost good faith, do not mislead clients, provide full and fair disclosure of all material facts, and disclose and fairly manage all material conflicts of interest. It is indeed a fiduciary standard. And that's, that's so appropriate because that's why we're here. This is our mission, to help people as best we can le lead a more full life. That's why I came into this line of work, and I know this is why most of you came into this line of work. So what, we, what do we need for the future of financial planning? There are five things I've detailed I think will be of utmost importance in the coming years. One is we've got to be present with our mission and who we are with our clients. We need to help them understand who, it is, who we are, and we need to constantly keep in mind for ourselves who we are. We need to be a believer that all people need financial planning services, including us. Every one of us should have our own financial planner and should be bringing the message out to the world that having a third party to talk to about life and money is going to make you more successful. We need to be aware of the new skills we need in the future, like maybe asking better questions or working more effectively with people in their cash flow or doing better goal setting towards people's true values. The fourth thing is we need to be involved in our community. We are moral, legal, ethical owners of this financial planning community and we need to take advantage of that. We need everyone in the discussion helping us grow and understand how to more effectively do our destiny, cause, and calling by our primary aim. And we need to do what is reflected in our values. We need to be those people that we said we would be. Because one of the magical things in the world is this little formula of be, do, have. If we can be the right person, the right being, we can help people do the right things, take the right actions, and help them have the things that really matter in this world, like love of others and accomplishment and furthering the world to a better place. So it may seem like a simple standard of care, but really it's a vehicle to drive us to those places that we really desire to be, to have a more full life. Thank you very much.